Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Oxen Free. So if you guys haven't seen the past episodes, there will be place will be linked down below. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get straight into it because yeah, Jesus, we're at the boathouse now. Well, not the house. Live. It's like the chateau. How did she get so rich if she was just like a communications person or whatever in the military? I think I said when we got here, her family like owned part of the island or something. I think she just inherited a lot, honestly. Hmm. Oh. Oh, it's like a it's like a boat that needs keys. There no. are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not it wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio. How would we know? You're the one that went. <laughs> huh. Well, uh What's plan B if we keys they they have to be in the house for the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. True. Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to like hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, nope. not really, but we can try that now if you think it'll help. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna help, but you know, whatever. <laughs> it's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. That's so weird how everything's controlled by the radio, man. Here we go. Okay. There we go. That is a nifty gizmo. And into the house we go. Ooh, what a house. Finally. Clarissa. Oh, oh, Clarissa. Me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body what or something. Heck? Clarissa, where have you been? After we saw you in town, you just... Hey, I can ask you the same thing. It was like I sneezed and you were gone. I ended up in the fields and just decided to come here and like wait it out. I haven't seen anybody since. So I thought I'd camp it up. Uh, and then how'd you get past the gate? It's like a slab of wrought iron. It looked impossible to climb. Well, apparently it's not that impossible since, you know, I'm here. I thought you hated what physical activity. Uh, not when my life's in peril. Christ. Look, Clarissa's here. So everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. I don't care what she says, just everyone keep your eye on her. Yeah, if you're all not careful, I might put my feet on the upholstery. Okay, we get it. Haha, -ha, <laughs> carry on. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. <coughs> okay, here we go. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics and religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot Okay, we of... get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all... I'm not talking to you. I'm just talking out loud. You can only ever talk out loud. Wow. How rude. Okay, let's go look upstairs, though, to see if there's anything here that might be of use to us. Okay, it doesn't look like anything's over here. But there is a map. This is the map of the whole... Pulled string? Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. Alright, here we go. The chest is padlocked. Needs a combination. Mrs. Adler was either paranoid beyond belief or just a very tidy woman. Well, she buried information in sonically camouflaged containers, Jonas. My guess is paranoid. <laughs> Let's... Okay, so that's literally... Okay, so we need to figure out the code... No, let's not go downstairs. Diagram. Wait, have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Or maybe they were back then, what do I know? Well, she was an amateur astronomer, probably. <laughs> what, like she cared if you were a Scorpio or something? I thought that stuff was after her time. That's astrology, not astronomy. <laughs> oh! Yeah, that fits the description better. <laughs> okay, maybe oh, this has something. It's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere, she said. Hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. No, I think it's pretty cool, actually. I, I could see myself doing something like this for the... the people I leave behind. Well, leave a cheat sheet for the laziest of us, okay? 
All right, so I'm not sure because like we need that to get into that I think the padded whatever thing so I'm hoping there's a code somewhere here we might have to go into the basement to find it though <sighs> it's been disconnected bummer okay because I know there's a basement section down there because I went to it by accident earlier uh, put some clothes on <laughs> remember that guy where are your parents your kids better than oh um Chad's lake house yeah, she? yeah, that guy was a friggin' weirdo. Uh, yeah. Okay, that was really random. Don't understand why, but okay. Right, let's enter the basement and see if there's anything in here that we can find. Oh, Ren's already in here. What, don't run away. Find anything useful? Not yet, but you know, the night is young. So, think we're really about to make it out of here? I have my doubts, I'll be honest. What are you kidding? Of course we are. There's no way that this ends with us not on our way home. No way. Oh, God, please don't jinx us. <laughs> don't <laughs> worry so much. Buy some lottery tickets. It'll do you good. All right, we need to figure out what, if this projector does anything. But There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, the disc desk. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. Never doubt me. And here's the combination for the... There's a, a padlock yes. chest in the attic upstairs. 29, 18, 44. 54. 54. Uh, cool. 29, 18, 54. She made a lot of... What should I call these slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? All right, so let's go back up and put that padlock code in. Are you, um, doing okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah? We're going home soon, so. Yeah, that's true. 29, 18, 54. 54. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. We think that means. She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? I don't know, something about ELF transmitters or the submarine's ways of communicating. Um, you can just say you don't know. That's okay. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Nice. Perfecto. <coughs> All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? I got the keys. They were in the attic upstairs. In a chest, but who cares? Let's just go. <gasps> no! Alex! Oh my oh, Alex. god! Come down here, please! Is this a joke? something I want to show you. <laughs> uh, Clarissa? Where are you? In the family room, dear. We're all in oil, marinated, so to speak. <laughs> No. <laughs> what is happening? Oh my god. This here comes a candle to light you to bed. Here comes the sword to chop off your head. Hey, wait, wake up. This is not okay. She's where is even Clarissa? Ah, there you go. <gasps> oh my god. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. Training? All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Training? I, I don't want to be trained. What are you signed, signed up for this, Alexandra? In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. I'm sorry, okay? How many times do you want me to tell you I'm sorry? I didn't know what would happen. You have nothing to apologize for. Trust us on that. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house, and you will go and find it. The scavenger see? heart. As simple Hunt. and good humor as, as your mother's, mother's apple pie. What is it with you guys and all the the games? You're like dogs or children. Just what is the point? The point, dear. The point is that they were never games. And you can figure that out by your lonesome. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. 
There is, of course, a time limit here. So. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Oh my god. Why is that called the fish line? Four. Three. What am I looking for? Two. One. The poor thing's life had just begun. Oh, I'm sorry, child. You weren't even close. Uh, what? Oh my god, stop it. Stop it, come on, no, it's, it's my fault. Look at that. No, bring her back. Now. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. What's done, done is done, done, as they say. If you'd paid attention, you'd have noticed the television set right by my side. The little x-ray emitting death machine. Oh, I didn't but realize right that now, that's what they wanted. To think of radiation in another sense. Pay attention. What does this have to do with, with us? I mean, we're... I not. spy. With my little eye, a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Oh my god. Eight, Eight, seven, a notch. Six, five, I can't tell four, upside down. Three, a notch. Two, one. Uh, Alexandra, what a disappointment. I was about to get the painting. Don't, just... Just stop, please. Don't do anything. Oh, wrong. your new brother. Gone to first light. This isn't their fault. Bring them back. They'll come back when you learn their purpose, child. Oh my it's god. Time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast. The, the picture of, of. I guess it's Maggie Adler and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's oh, Margaret no. Adler and her friend Emma. I lost two people. You, see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing... Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Emma tried to sport with us many years ago and, well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. And a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use our waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we'll grow. And we will engulf. No! That's horrible! We can that? see how this might seem. Gracious, but we're past the point of caring about that sort of thing. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know. To wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. Please, oh. just don't do this. We're, Where's Stuart? We're not it's sad, I know, to lose the facility to feel, to be, but... We have not felt anything for a very long time. And we'll do whatever is necessary. When our rest are on the rocks, we have until dawn. And so are you. We would oh, spend our time wisely. And... We thank you for your good service. Well, that could have gone better. So... Um... I'm not exactly sure on what is happening right now. Did I just screw everything up? Wait, what the heck? Just don't try and influence Michael. He can live his own life. Okay, seriously, who are you? What is going on? Okay, so... Oh, there's another tape player. Oh, there's more upstairs. Okay. I was gonna say, like, it's not helping. <laughs> Sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision <coughs> or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now. Uh, 
Does anyone buy the whole eternal recurrence thing? Literally? No idea what you're talking about right now. Yeah, what's that again? Is that like reincarnation? It's when... It's the idea that if time is infinite and matter is finite, then everything will eventually repeat in the same exact pattern again and again. I subscribe to whatever snake handlers believe in, so... Alright, so where the heck is Clarissa? Cause she's not here. Want to see if it'll start? Uh, not really. All right. So what are we meant to do now that we we don't have Clarissa? So what are we doing? I don't know. I'm gonna go to the basement and see if it, there's anything there. But like, maybe she, maybe Clarissa's down here. Okay. There's nothing here. All right. There's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh, man. If this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos... Yeah. I'm sure this is just the... Yeah, it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh! Brilliant! Is it? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She Triangle. knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself? Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? Oh. It says when someone sends an emergency signal from the Capward station in the woods and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. All right, but come on, Nona. Do you honestly believe that the old equipment in either building will still work? It's, I don't know, but it's the only thing we have so far. And time's a clicking. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Wait, wait, I, um, I'm sorry, I kind of zoned out there for a second. What are we doing? Ren and Nona are team, um, Soaring Eagle, and you and I are awesome squad. Uh, I want that one. And we're splitting up to work on some old fangled machinery to open the bomb shelter, to get into the cave, to yada yada yada, save our lives, or whatever. Alright, so, use the response station to open the bomb shelter. All right, break. And if anything goes wrong, please don't tell me. I won't want to know. Ha, uh, we won't. Whoa. Oh no. What the heck? Alex, Alex, okay, are you, are you back to normal? Ah. Uh... I just saw, it, it, it was like a premonition, I think, and, and I know that sounds whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that, because I kind of just saw Ren drowning. Okay, okay, just take it easy for a second. You went all red-eyed, like when we get possessed. I did? You stopped walking and started mumbling, and then your eyes lit up like little road flares. Okay. It only lasted like a minute, but we should hurry up and do this before the door on you opens any wider than but the thing with Ren, it... <laughs> no, look, it kind of made sense. Hey, guys. Uh, wait. Did I get the plan wrong? Because if I got it right... No, you didn't get it wrong. Ren, are you doing okay? Like, you haven't almost drowned or anything in the last hour, or... No, fit as a fiddle. Well, like a fiddle you'd find in someone's damn shed or something. You know, kind of warped, looks okay. a little... Okay, satisfied? Can we go... Okay, but just... 
Like, be careful, you two, okay? Careful. Definitely will do. Check, double check. Okay, well, it's been fun catching up, kids. We'll go do our half of the fix the ghost problem equation now. All right. <laughs> See you after at the bomb shelter. You know what time it is? 4 a.m. It's 4 in the morning. Which is usually about the time everyone decides if they're going to bed or ordering another three pizzas. Yo, yeah. it's almost four more in the morning now. In uh, For that me. situation. Usually, I'm asleep at 11 with my hand half dunked in the chip bowl. You think this tuning into the tear thing's gonna work? Like, really? It really doesn't matter if I think it's gonna work. It's sort of all we have, and we're running out of time. It is all we have, yeah. I just... I just wish I felt like the ghosts were concerned that their plan won't work. I just feel like they're pretty confident. Yeah, well, you know who else was confident? Hitler. And look how he ended up. Dead. With syphilis. <laughs> uh, true. I think this um, stuff is getting pulled in from, like, their time or something. This is so weird. Um, yeah, it's not exactly a good omen. I think we're running out of runway here. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. <sighs> I hope this works. Me too. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. Uh -oh. I hope this works. Another <sighs> loop. God, we're in another loop, de loo They always come at the most appropriate times, don't they? Yep, they sure do. Yeah, they do. Thanks for the update. Freaking love this man. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. Yep, I am also... hope that. I don't know what we're meant to be doing. Because we go that way, it doesn't do anything. I've literally gone every way, and... Maybe this means we have to go back. Back? Ren. <gasps> no, oh no, my god. Happened. What's wrong with Ren? Where's Nona? Oh my god. He had an Oh my god. He... He died. What? I couldn't. Oh my god, Ren. I... I can't believe this. What? what he what? he drowned. <gasps> oh my god. That's what she he took a fall. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I don't know. He just he just stopped. <gasps> I mean, does it really matter what happened? Either way, done is done. I know you're not Jonas, so there's no use in pretending. Soon it won't be a pretense. It'll be an absolute. Alex, we know you're in charge, and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. It never does. So we have a proposition for you. A deal. A bargain. Um, a proposition? <coughs> like what? It's already over with Marissa. She's gone. We'll pilot her through the rest of existence, and there's nothing you can do to change that. What? But if you agree to let us take her, let her go, quietly, and without fuss, you won't slaughter the rest of your friends. Like young Reginald here. What do you mean? If the rest of you can No, no way. I'm saving everyone. Everyone is coming home with me. We're all getting out of here. Uh, courage is not always the way, dear. What you don't that have much like? time left. Do you know how we know you don't have much time left? Hmm? Fine. Shoot. How do you know? We know because we can be Jonas for this long, and his soul is as quiet as an empty church. Just never say we didn't intend to provide you all the rules. What is happening? I don't understand. What? Oh my god. So... Can we go up here now? But we don't have Jonas. I don't understand. Why can't we go up? The station's up at the top of the... Ugh. God. That was... Oh my my mouth feels like I just ate a Yeah, you were possessed, tree. man. You were possessed. 
And for the longest time, I think that we've um, seen so far. Yeah, I know. I can kind of remember that part. Yeah. Hello? Ren? Anyone there? What? Are they? Oh, they're, um, they're somehow... I guess they're somehow broadcasting or something from the uh, station speakers. <laughs> Are you guys at the station? You're both alive. Hey, anybody. That's all I care Jonas? about. Jonas? God. <laughs> Jonas? Yeah, no, punch that's, Alex, a, that's a bonus too. Wow, punch Jonas, us. Right in the throat. Jonas, don't listen. We're all set here for the, uh, right. the thing. Radio locked. The I keep forgetting this thing is beacon hack or whatever we're doing. Okay, I just have to yeah, tune. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's time to tune this radio thing or the clock. Like it's actually wasted. Like I feel my body wasted away. No, it's it's okay if you're like dealing with stuff. We had to deal with stuff. What stuff? There you yeah, go. When I almost kind of slipped and fell off the bridge. Oh my God, you guys. That no, it was this. Hello, we're here. We made it. Hello. Oh, hello. This is Edward Island's emergency. How may I help you? Oh my god. If you're being sat on by a very large burglar. Just mash the dial with your fist, please. It is so nice to hear you two finding the sunny side of all this. We are. Well, he is. We both are. Don't let her fool you. Signal verified. Shelter TF1 open. Nice. I guess it worked. Great. Okay, we'll meet you there. Right. See you at the shelter. No. Right now. So now we got to close the time hole and save the day. All right, let's go. I have an idea, Mr. Oh my God! Jordan. What? Couldn't we have them reborn? Oh no! Come on, Jonas! Don't turn freaky now. Oh my God! Okay, okay, okay. I'm. Jesus Christ! I really hate that. Yeah, you know what? Me too. But I'm. I think. Um. It's getting worse, Jonas. The sun's coming up soon. I think we're running out of time. Yeah. No, no. Um, look, it's scary, needless to say, when I, like, drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like, just, like, how do I say this? Okay, uh, I have a time limit for rambling nonsense, so let's pick it up a bit. I just want to say, I just, I think it would have been cool, us living together for, for whatever, senior year. And I'm just Aww. glad I met you, that's all. Aww. I'm just glad we met. Aww, Jonas, you big sap. Okay, all right, that's all, nothing to see here. And now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. Oh. And we're gonna be fine, by the way. There's no... You don't have to put it like it would have been whatever to live together. We are gonna live together. And you're someday soon gonna eat all the peanut butter. And when I go make a sandwich, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> oh. All right. 5 a.m., guys. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna say one thing, and then I promise it'd be the last time I bring it up tonight. But... You know you screwed up with Ashley at the concert, right? I mean, it's not a giant thing, but still. No. Ash oh, oh my you mean God. Amanda? My really good friend Amanda who's moving away forever? That Amanda? Yeah, that Amanda who stole her mom's car. And I don't care if you didn't know she didn't have permission to take it, because whatever, fine. But you knew you didn't have permission to go to that show. <sighs> Just tell me it's the last time I hear about you stealing a car. However inadvertently, my little heart can't handle the excitement. It'll be the last time, but maybe not for the reasons you think. I don't really care about the reasons, just for my own sanity, don't do it anymore. Oh, and I wanted to say, um, <laughs> per your advice, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna really, um, like, commit to Clarissa. Oh, damn. <laughs> that sounds dumb, like I'm pinning her or something. Wow, big man on campus. I don't know why I said that. Big step, that's what I mean. Big step. Eh, it's not a big deal. I'm just letting you know, so... I don't know. I don't know why. I just wanted to tell you. Come on, let's get to the sentry before the last boat comes. I gotta get the uh, visual aid for the history project. And then I just gotta write the stupid essay. What history project? They still make you do, like, work with so little left in the year? Unfortunately. This is... It's just like a town history thing for civics, you know? So it's forced me to kind of... I don't know. And I mean... It's funny, I don't know if I even want to be here next year. It's just all so flat. Same people, the same expressions. But everybody loved... Everyone loves you here. You're like... I mean, you should hear how the teachers talk about you. I know how they talk about me. It's like, if I don't become a billionaire president, their life has been wasted. 
I know you think I have it on Easy Street, but people looking at you all the time, wanting evidence that it's good, that they lived here, that good things can happen to people that are from here, it can get to be a real drag. Like, how about somebody else be captain of whatever for once? You were... are great, though, and... and you're gonna be great whatever you do. I'm sure of it. You got spunk, kid. Yeah, well... <laughs> Uh, let's head back before Karen Strands is here. You know, yeah. when we saw Uncle Pete last month, I wanted to ask him, because he, he got out moving to New York. And I asked him if it was hard leaving. Know what he said? Uh, it was hard? I mean, knowing Uncle Peter, he was probably three sheets to the wind. He said the hardest part was deciding what to take with him and what to leave behind. I thought it was, I don't know, for him, <laughs> kind of almost touching. Oh my, how profound. I can't believe Uncle Pete's a mere failed actor and not teaching philosophy at Berkeley. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I cannot believe I had to pick you up from the police station because of Grand Theft Auto. I mean, that is too funny. <laughs> oh, shut up. Alex? Shut up, shut... <sighs> oh, gosh. You got, you know, you went bad again? I couldn't get you out of it. We should really, we should get this done, now. I saw, I saw Michael again. I just, I'm sorry, when I'm there, I just get... No, I just always do the poster. I mean, you get the option, right? The, is the bomb shelter open? Did it work? I hope it worked, please tell me it worked. Oh, yeah, it sprung open. But Ren, wait, seriously. In AP English, all you had to do was make a fake book cover poster at the end of the semester? Yeah, but the trick is you have to claim you're a kinesthetic learner. I have to make something with my hands, teacher, or... Yeah, I think you can worry about that after we're off the island, Ren. Yeah. No, I need to worry about it now. Oh my Why? god. Because I left my book on the ferry. <laughs> <laughs> what I, an idiot. I want to get this off my chest. Just something happened to us tonight, Alex. Something broke. I don't know if it was the ghosts or whatever, but you've been acting like not you. Ren. No, I Ren, just... Ren, are you... This is what you want to tell me before we go in there? I know. I'm sorry. It's it's just been it's just been a crappy <coughs> night. I don't even know what I'm saying. This is stupid, but can we like take a picture? Why? I don't know. In case things go bad and All right. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's just do it. We're on a beach. Kind of. Let's keep a shred of normal here. Yeah, let's take a nice All right, group let's take selfie. It. Alex, get in here. Coming. You're not getting out. All right. All right. Yona? Yeah? Um, hold me to that dinner I owe you, okay? Uh, okay. Oh, come on! Oh, how cute. Send me a postcard from the restaurant. <laughs> it's dinner. One dinner. Calm down. Aww. Yeah, dinner. That's all. So my stomach can stop strangling my heart now. Yes, so. Once right. we're in there, the door won't open again since the system's so convoluted. So make sure you're ready to finish this before we go inside. All right, well, I guess, uh, uh, here we go. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode right here, guys. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys.